How to Implement Minimalism into Work and Business When we speak of minimalism, your mind may turn to interior design. Or perhaps you think of a minimalist lifestyle in terms of reducing your unnecessary possessions so that you can gain more enjoyment from the things you own. Letting go of your material possessions and living like a monk is said to be highly liberating, and indeed it is. But minimalism can also be applied to other aspects of life, including science, and yes, even business. In this presentation, we'll take a look at how you can apply the principles of minimalism to your own life and start thriving as a result. What does minimalism mean in the context of business? Simple. It means removing what's unnecessary and focusing on what gets results. Minimalism means not overcomplicating your business with unnecessary procedures and protocol. And perhaps this brings to mind one culprit in particular, one famous time drain that affects many of our working lives. Meetings. Meetings eat up a ton of time, and very often achieve very little. A meeting means taking time out of your day, and out of the days of each member of your team in attendance. So, if you have five people attending a one-hour meeting, that's five hours you just lost. So the question should always be, could you communicate the same thing by email or phone? If the answer is yes, then don't hold a meeting. Meetings are just one example of what we call communication overhead. Other examples are emails, phone calls, and any other correspondence that takes time out of your main job. Communication isn't the only culprit, though, either. There are many other unnecessary processes and time saps that waste time and money for the average business. Another particularly bad example is micromanagement. If your team is forced to report in on every small decision it makes, or to go through red tape every time it tries to contribute, then you are wasting your talent and you are wasting time as a business. Then there are all those tiny jobs that take up time and make your business more complicated than it needs to be. Processes that could be streamlined, jobs that could be automated, and services that could be outsourced. It's time to focus on the one thing your organization does well and to invest all your time and energy into accomplishing that in the most streamlined and effective manner possible. That is minimalistic business, and that is good business. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.